what happened. It froze. I don't know, it just clicked off. <laughs> and now I think I'm back on. Thanks, babe. You come down to tell me. You froze. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry about that. But um, hopefully you got that and my phone's not going to freeze again. It's weird, isn't it? I've got little gremlins in my thing. Um, yeah. So, where do we get to? Right, we've got our potatoes. They're boiled. We've got our cumin seeds. We've got our coriander. Either ground cumin, ground coriander. It doesn't matter. Um, we've got our red peppers, chilli, kind of spicy goodness, these, I don't use them when mum's here because she doesn't like spice, but I'm going to use them today because Cody loves spice, so good, um, I always kind of base all my choices off of who, the eater, one must consider the eater, it is not about what you want to put in the dish, it's about the eater, the person that's going to enjoy it, unless it's just you, of course. Um, but yeah, we have to consider that. Okay, so I've also got garlic granules and onion powder, which if we were making non-Indian style pine fries, we would use those too. And we'd use, um, or we'd use paprika, which we're gonna use today as well. We're gonna use some of that. Um, and we would use like, what else would we use? I from oh fuck see now it's starting to go it's starting to go for it sorry it's starting to smoke already because I was not paying attention to what I was talking about okay let's do this right we've got our cumin seeds how much should we put in mm, I don't know a teaspoon maybe like a teaspoon and a half that's kind of cooking off. See, I don't know. I think I might have been a bit hasty. Hmm. Because I'm so worried about the alarm going off. <laughs> oh, dear. Estella, hello, darling. How are you doing? From Buenos Aires. Okay, so that's still going. Oh, I think I want it hotter. Am I being a pansy? I want it a bit hotter. Oh, it smells good already. Oh, oh, oh. Yum, yum, yum. Right. Probably... Make a cup of tea if you have to wait for anything. So the tea situation for me, I'll let that stoop for a bit, has, um, has changed. I am so glad that it's changed. I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of this, of this um, ground coriander in. Oh, probably a little bit more, maybe two teaspoons. God, I might put a bit too much in, but it's fine. Two teaspoons. Let that do its thing. I feel like that's not hot enough. I need more heat. I need more heat. I need it to look kind of dangerous. Um, so the tea situation. The whole time I was pregnant, I couldn't have tea. Um, I mean, I couldn't have PG Tips tea. Couldn't have black tea. Um, which was horrible. And I started to think, what if I never like tea again? That's horrible. What a thought. The second little violet was outside of my tummy, I had a lovely cup of tea. Ah, oh, it all worked out in the end. And do you know what my mum told me? She said, Jossie, it's like a pregnancy test. You know, you're gonna get to the point where you just kind of go, right, I'll have a tea. Oh, it tastes horrible, that's it, I'm pregnant. Oh shit, see, now I've gone too far, okay. Right, so now, oh God, the alarm's gonna go off. Right, put the potatoes in. Woo! Yeah, I've probably done a bit too much oil. Gosh, is it? Go up the thing, go up the thing, go out the window. Go out the window. What? Oh God. The window is not helping, it's gonna go off, isn't it? Woo! But this is good. You're basically making chips. That's what's happening here. No, it's good, it's good. You need a bit of smoke. Yeah, so, so cheers to everyone that's having a cup of tea. I hope it's a lot of you. Love me some PG tips, yes, Bobby. It is so good. Mm. Oh, it's so good, honestly, I missed it. Oh. Especially when it's nice and hot. I can't have a lukewarm cup of tea, it's very disappointing. Right, so these are cooking away. 
God, I did put a lot of oil in. But I think that's kind of how you're supposed to do it. And that's doing its thing. And you kind of want it to do its thing a little bit. And then you can add in all the other spices. We can do this now, actually. And once it's cooked a bit, then we're going to put in some chopped onions. Mm -hmm. some chopped up peppers some chopped up onions and some garlic I always end up burning these and they come out like charcoal I'm going to try not to do that today because it would be nice if they didn't do that but they do, it still tastes really good but yeah, let's cook these off a little bit first let's do some garlic granules garlic powder yeah. so just go over it like crazy like just I don't know, just be brave and don't shy. The onion powder always goes a bit hard. So I get like a little, a little spoon or something and then I get in there. It always goes a bit hard. Does anyone have any tips for that? What are we doing? A teaspoon? Yeah, it always goes hard. We'll do more than one teaspoon. Okay. Oh, do you know what I forgot to tell you about this? That's very important. Madras curry powder. I love it. I got it off Amazon. Look at this. Madras curry powder. It's awesome. I think anything, like it, Indian spice mix is good. Garam masala is good, but we're not doing that today. We're doing this one. So that's just going over. There's loads of different spices in here. There's actually turmeric in here. Oh, okay. Now it seriously smells really good. Um, have we done paprika? Are we going to do? Do we need to do? We'll do a little bit. We'll do a little bit. It's going to be fine. Oh, it looks nice though. It looks like it's just nice. Oh, the chilies. Yep, they're going in. Gordon Bennett. Okay, they all went in. So. Oh. Okay. Right, so the bread, here we go. Okay, I'm just turning them over. I don't want it to burn. But I'm turning them over. Golly. I put on probably a little bit too much oil. <laughs> But it's going to be good. Cook away, darlings. Ah. So, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more spices in a minute. But let's have a look at what you're up to. Amy Watchell. Hello, darling. Love to you and Sweet Violet. Celebrated Bob Marley's B-Day last night on Insta Live. Oh, wicked. With our friend Dennis Bravel. Oh, how nice. That's nice. Happy birthday, Bob. Oh, Hi, John, John. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, dear. Life can be funny if you let it. Hmm. Hi, Hannah. Thank you, sweet. Working on it. <laughs> Trying my best. Evelyn, that's a beautiful name. Hmm. Muto Tempero. I don't know what that means. Andre, hello, Violet, Cody and Joss, hey little sis bro, hello darling, hi Jeff, how are you doing, hi Greg, <laughs> everyone's in such a lovely mood today, how is everyone doing today, what's going on in the world, tell me some good news, we need good news, <laughs> okay, come on home fries, have I missed anything, oh, salt, salt, I've got to put salt in, Mm -hmm. Lots of lovely salt. Is there anything else? I don't know. Oh, it's start, they're starting to like crisp up. This is good. This is all good. I want to put a little bit more of this in. I know it's like lazy, but let's have a look. What's in it? Okay. We declare that this Madras curry powder is perfect Piquant, I never, I don't think I've ever read that word before. It's perfect piquant, peppery, and free from colouring and adulteration. Hmm. 
ingredients, coriander seeds, we had the coriander, turmeric, awesome, gives it a lovely colour, chilies, great, add to, salt, cool, we've got loads of salt, cumin seeds, cool, fennel seeds we didn't have, so that's good, black pepper, garlic, ginger, oh ginger, fenugreek, didn't have that, cinnamon, cloves, anise and mustard, wow, we've got a lot going on in there, woo, lovely, just chuck it on, see this I would put in curry, but it, it's going in the potatoes, oh, 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 see they're starting to do a really good thing, yeah they're starting to kind of get a little skin, and it's good, I feel like we're doing well with the smoke, it's not half as bad as I thought, I think I've prepared better because I know you guys are here. <laughs> and when it's just me, I just start. I start, I don't open any windows, I don't turn on the fan. I think I've got like an affliction to this fan. I hate the sound of it. But listen, listen to how wonderful it is when I turn it off. That's good, right? Nope. Got to turn the bloody thing back on. <sighs> the worst. Who makes fans that are silent? I want to know. Hi, Michelle. So it's snowing in New Jersey, sitting here watching you. Ah, so glad you're back. You look so happy since you had Violet. Yes, I am, you know. Honestly, she's the most gorgeous thing I've ever encountered. She's so sweet. And you know how people go, oh, you know, because I've, I've always said I want like seven kids. People be like, oh, well, you just wait till you have one love. Oh, you're not going to want more than one. <laughs> yeah, right. Why wouldn't I want like 50 of them? <laughs> They're amazing. She's gorgeous. I just love her, but I guess it is my first one. So I haven't got another one to deal with whilst she's there so it must be hard on the second time i know it's like hard you know to uh, to stay up and um not fall asleep but tiredness is not something that um that has ever really bothered me <laughs> i've been tired for 20 years <laughs> i'm used to it you know so but yeah, this is just like a different type of tire because it's every night. <laughs> and I think maybe in three months I might be a little bit like, you know. But it's okay, you know. It's totally worth it. Yeah, okay, you've got to wake up every two hours and have a cute little monster, you know, suckle on your nipples, which feels like your nipples are being cut off. It's very painful. <laughs> but whatever, doesn't matter because she's so cute. She just looks up at me like, I'm the cutest thing in the world. I'm like, oh, okay, while I'm crying through the pain. But um, it's all good. <laughs> My nipples will toughen up. It'll be fine. Okay, how are these doing? Okay, so these are looking really lovely now. They've got like skin around them and it's kind of turning into like chips. Okay, and now we're gonna put in these things because I don't want them to burn like I always burn them. And Cody said, actually I should chop that up a bit smaller. Chop them up small because they're not there for anything other than flavour. So hang on, I just need to do extra chopping because I don't want them to be like, oh my god, this is awful. Which you never would because these are so bloody nice. Um, okay, right, so they're chopped up small. Sorry, I'm doing extra chopping off camera because I can't move it. Okay, and I'm going to chop it all in. Lovely, lovely. Song. Let me see if I can figure that out. I'll ask him. Hey Siri, can you play Javier? The 
this is an it. This is not it. No. No. Hey Siri. No. <laughs> hey Siri, turn off. God, I can't remember the name of the song. It says, I don't know if it is Javier. It says, um, oh baby girl now, tell me what's wrong with the word now. La da 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 find my way home. Hey, let me see this. Melissa Homan, congrats on your baby, great name. Thank you, sweetheart. I named her Violet and um, Melissa after my auntie Melissa. Um, it's a beautiful name. She was a beautiful lady. Um, hi, Lindsay. Siri is a dude now. Yes, Siri is a dude. Oh, shit. Siri is a dude on my thing. And Siri's also Indian. I like the accent. It's one of my favorite accents. So Cody changed it for me and <laughs> made it Indian. I don't know, I think I'm just obsessed with the country and the food and the accent and the music. Oh God, I love the music. It's good. It's good. But I think I need more, what do I need more of? Oh, cumin. I think I want more cumin. I'm gonna do the ground cumin now. I know, I know. Don't confuse me. Oh, so as you can see, come on, out you come, you bugger. There's not much in there. I think I'm just gonna pour it on. I think I've done like three teaspoons of cumin. As you can see, you kind of just feel it out as you go. I know that's not very helpful, is it? But that's coriander again. I just feel like I need more. I need more. I need more. Right, the oil's just all getting sucked up. Yeah, I want it to be like super delicious. What else do I need? What else do I need? Do I need more of this? Oh no, that's coriander. I need more of syrup. garlic, garlic. I need more. Yeah, I mean, it's a, there's a lot going on, but it should be really flavourful. I'll write it down, what I, think it, what I think it was. Actually, Joe will write it down. Joe's great. Joe's our guy that sorts out our Facebook. And um, he always writes down the recipes afterwards and posts them because he's a darling. Oh, do you know why this is going wrong? It's because this stupid oven has turned itself off. small outburst. I do though. I just want to gas off. I want to be able to control it. I'm a control freak. It's annoying like if you touch it and then everything goes off. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, so might get your live cut. Meg, what are you talking about? Might get your live cut. What does that mean? Sing love, Anna. L is for the way you look at me. Oh, hang on. Slight. My baby has nine days old. It's beautiful, but being a mother is such a strange world. Oh, honey. Ah, oh, your breasts hurt. You are a little uncomfortable with your body, but happy to be a mother. Yes. I feel, you know, the boobs are painful. Um, okay, so you're day nine. She's ten days old. Aw, we had a baby at the same time. How cool is that, Sly? Um, so yes, I feel, with my body, do I feel uncomfortable? I mean, I feel pain because I did have it chopped open. So that was painful. And I feel a bit bruised. Um, but I take ibuprofen for that. Um, I feel annoyed when I can't sit up very well. That's bloody annoying, but I've had that for the last God knows how many months. I haven't been able to use my stomach muscles because there was a baby in there. But um, now I feel like, right, it's gonna snap back and we're gonna be good. So, yeah. It's a bit weird not having a baby in your belly though, isn't it? When you've had it there for a while and it's gone. Oh, 
but actually it's not gone, it's just there. <laughs> it's just on the other side. But yeah, it's a funny thing, isn't it? I can't wait to kind of go running and do some actual exercise um, to see if my body still works. I'm not allowed to do that for at least six weeks, they say. So I've had two walks. I'm not sure I was supposed to do that, but I only did really little bit, really slowly, slowly, slowly. Because I really was walking like an old biddy. I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God. That's what it was like. But it's better to move than to not move. I wonder, Sly, did you have um, a natural birth? I hope so. That's what I wanted. But we don't always get what we want in this life. Oh, Alana, don't forget the food. <laughs> Thank you, Alana. Okay. It's doing good. It's doing good. We don't want it to be... Oh, this looks good. You see that? Oh, oh God, see oil dripping. Ooh. Um. Oh, mm hmm oh. It is good. It is finished. I'm going to do this because I put way too much oil in. Don't need a cup of oil. What the fuck am I talking about? I need half a cup. Um, but it doesn't matter because it's so good and they're not supposed to be healthy. Shh. <sighs> no more fan noise. <sighs> there is a cart in the kitchen. We only hear the sizzling of the little potatoes. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to sing love. Sorry. Um, L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extra ordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore. And love is all that I can give to you. Love. Is more than just a, a game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. It's a sweet song, isn't it? I like that song. Okay. Let's pop them in there. Ooh, that's good. We didn't burn any... Um, didn't burn any peppers. That's a first for me. Do you know what? Maybe having all this oil is good. I, it, it seems like they're kind of not so kind of stuck together. This is good. Wow. God, it smells amazing. It really does. It smells amazing. So let me know if you try this recipe. I know it's a bit haphazard, but right, what you're going to need is four big potatoes, peel them, chop them, Boil them, not too much. Take them out, strain them. Leave them on the side for a bit, or just do this immediately. Pop, say half a cup of oil, because look, I've got a lot of oil left. I don't know if you can see that. Don't, we don't really need that, but whatever. So half a cup of oil, warm it up nice. Oh, you should probably chop your onions, chop your peppers, chop your garlic, nice and small leave that to one side. When your oil is nice and warmed up, you're going to take your cumin seeds and coriander seeds if you have them, um, and put in like, I say two teaspoons, cook them off. And then when you smell it, oh, lovely, lovely. Then add the coriander, ground coriander, and just cook that off. And it will kind of, the oil will change color a little bit, go a little bit dark. Then put in the potatoes that will sizzle and do its wonderful thing. And then cover it in all these lovely spices that you decide that you like. So if you don't like Indian style spices um, and you like more Italian, you know, you can do, you can do like, I don't know, let, where's my little, you can do oregano, basil. You can do, I don't know, what else do I normally put in it? You've got paprika, you can do, Put parsley in there, dried parsley, loads of herbs. Herbs are good. Lots of lovely herbs. Um, but really, it's nice to do uh, the garlic. 
garlic granules, onion powder, and paprika. That's a really good little combo. And salt. You can put pepper in that if you want. I didn't put any pepper in, but that's fine. Um, you can do that. You can do whatever you want. If you like it, put it in. It's really that simple. If you like it, put it in. Once I accidentally put a teaspoon of sugar in, it was delicious. I'll check it out the recipe though, because I thought it was a little bit too much. Maybe too fattening, but we don't really need sugar in this. <laughs> but it was a happy accident, it tasted bloody good. So, you know, if you like it, you put it in. That's kind of the rule of thumb, isn't it? Isn't that the rule of life? Do what you want. <laughs> Make yourself happy. Oh, there's also like curry powder you can put in. Oh, remember, this is really good. Um, maybe, I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. It's the Sun Brand, original Sun Brand, Madras Curry Powder, prepared under license of Mwanji, Poon Jai G and Sons, Private LTD. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Right, so where's Cody? Let's see, he might want some, he might not. He's working. It's Super Bowl day today, people. Is everyone watching the Super Bowl? Oh my God. Please try making this. It's so good. Try it. I know, it's not health food, but who cares? So you serve that with two fried eggs, over easy, meaning cook the bottom, flip it but don't cook the yellow because that is the best bit when it all kind of comes out and it's all like gooey and delicious. So over easy and two sausages, vegetarian of course. Beyond the Meat is one of our favourites at the moment, Linda McCartney sausages, lush, and a bit of ketchup, best breakfast ever, love it. Proper into that. So let's go. Right, I'm gonna bugger off. Oh, Gian Sloan. I am 12. <laughs> okay. Good. Well done. You'll be 13 soon. You'll be a teenager soon. Christina Aguilera is apparently singing at the Super Bowl. Ooh, so looking forward to that. Kane. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she's got some pipes on her. Old Aguilera. Bloody hell. Okay, we're going to have to watch that. I have to figure out how to get it on my, on my TV. I'm sure Cody knows how. I've kind of got into... Um, American football. I like watching it. Now I know what's going on. I kind of like watching it. It's good. Teresa, love from Portugal. Hola. Thank you, darling. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Amanda, enjoy the Super Bowl. We will. Okay, lovelies. Right. I'll put up the recipe and I'll put up a picture of these Delightful looking potatoes. They don't actually look like good, but they are so yummy. And um, I hope that you get a chance to make this. And if you do, post a little picture of it on Instagram or I guess Instagram or Facebook or something. Because um, I really want to see it. You can do hashtag Joss cooking with Joss and then I can find them. It's nice. I like to see it. All right, gorgeous. Bye. All right, lovely, lovelies. Bye. <laughs> Take care, you wonderful people. Oh, thank you for the stars, Bri. Thanks, darling. That'll go to a good place, promise. <laughs>